Let's talk about some terms that we are going to use frequently in our PT design. The first term we want to talk about is tendon. Tendon is made of two anchorages and a duct with one to six strands. You can see two different types of dead end anchorage shown here. Also, you can see live end anchorage with strands and ducts shown here. Usually, we have either two live end anchorages or one dead and one live end anchorage. The other term you need to be familiar with is a strand. There are many different types of strands, but the most common one in Australia are 12.7 and 15.2. These numbers are also the outside diameter of the strand, which is made of seven smaller wires, which is shown here. As you can see, there is a uh, central wire, and then there are six other wires around, and the entire system is twisted into a long helix. Also, in this table, you can see specifications of these two strands. So, as mentioned, 12.7 is nominal diameter of the strand. The uh, steel area is 98.6 uh, square millimeter. And minimum braking load is 184 kN. For the other strand, which has 15.2 mm diameter, area is 143 mm2, and minimum braking load is 250 kN. Let's look at tendon profiles along the slabs or beams. We might have different tendon profiles depending on the design and loading conditions. Here you can see two profiles, one with probolic shape and the other one with probolic straight profile, which can be used for a slab with drop panel and column strip or for the slab with band beams. Now let's look at structural framing of PT systems. Usually, we have the same structural uh, framing options as we have for traditional reinforced concrete. The most common systems are one-way slab and beam, which is generally the most economical option with the least overall concrete volume and the lowest PT and reinforcement rate. They also have largest overall structural depths as a result of beam depths. The second most economical option is two-way slab bead drop panel. And the least economical option is two-way slab with no drop panels or flat plates. These have usually highest post tensioning and reinforcement rate and often require punching shear reinforcement.